All right. Uh, veterinary medicine is actually kind of interesting in the fact that we get uh, some of the coolest little patients in. What's up? What's with that face? What's with that face? Anyway, trying to keep the clients out of the video. That now I'll break my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I can say this because I'm one of the bosses. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, wound care is like an art form. It is. Uh, it is an art form. This guy here, we came in just just earlier this week. Actually, the, the lines of this lesion were up to here and down to here. You've got to make sure that you get bandages that are going to decrease that uh, that scar tissue, increase the fibrous tissue, and actually make it scarring a lot better than it is. So it's actually half the size that it was. Like a steak on the on the thing. It you're really seeing does. food when you look at this? <laughs> it looks like a piece of steak. I'm serious. Damn, Joe, you're scaring me. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of stuff, but I ain't seen something I want to eat in no, any way, shape, or form. No, that does look like a steak. You just got to see it right. That doesn't look like a piece of steak. Either. Come on. No, I don't see steak. <laughs> see, yeah, it's missing right. the nice triations and the fatty lines and stuff in it anyway. All right. Ha, 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 ha. Someone will laugh at this, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. We should have done this video the last time it was in, but for some strange reason, only exotics get the camera around here. Um, so uh, we're trying to change it. <laughs> I have a anyway, before you. you have a what? Before. Oh, okay. So we have some before pictures, so I can actually add this to this video when the time when we're done. But anyway, we'll get this picture here. We're gonna rebandage it and use a uh, a zinc lace bandage. Uh, I think the company calls it Unaboot. And you'll probably see it even smaller come Monday when we finish this video. In the meantime, just laugh at the insanity. It's all I do. All right. Here's our uh, our magical skin wound. Actually, it's a lot smaller already. Um, it's now been less than a week. So we're rechecking it today. I guess I'll put this on here to show you just how uh, <laughs> sometimes it can be a little uh, impatient with wound healing. And sometimes the wound healing, it just pisses us off because it doesn't want to work the way we want it to. This one is working. All right, that's the good news. All right. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. All right. Um, no dogs were in heat. Okay. Uh, they're asking me questions. I'm trying to answer them. All right. Other than that, <laughs> I was hoping to document this uh, skin and wound case a little bit more closely over the last few weeks. But between timing and, and these people just hate my guts. <laughs> I couldn't document any faster than this or better than this. So they've sent me some pictures. I will try to add those to, uh, to this video as well. But anyway, good wound care, again, is very, very important. Without it, it's just uh, we're just looking at a bunch of raw flesh. So what we did with this guy is we actually used uh, wound care that, that increases the fibrous tissue and allows for better tissue contraction. And as you can tell from the video before this, uh, it does does work. Anyway, wrapping them up in a bandage is not enough. Sometimes you just got to add the right chemicals and control infections. And this is just proof that it can be done. Ta-da! All right. Someone will bitch and whine at me talking too much on the video, but hey, I don't care. Na 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 But look, look at the happy face. Is that a happy face? I can't tell. There's that's just too much face. I can't. Is that happy? All right. There it is. Later.